In this video, I'll show you two audio features that DaVinci Resolve just got that Adobe Audition and Adobe Premiere Pro do not have. Okay, thanks to Mr. Alex Tech, he's given a very comprehensive review of all the features that are in the brand new DaVinci Resolve 19, but I want to focus on two audio features that I really believe are outstanding and Adobe products don't presently contain them. I really hope and wish that the Adobe engineers and developers get on it and somehow integrate these features into Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition. I think they'd be really cool. With that said, let's take a look at the latest DaVinci Resolve release. First up is Dialogue Separator. You can switch it on. It will allow you to mute out things like the voice or the background noise or rebalance the levels. Let's listen. In very, very, very few places. Great, uh, like a skateboard space into the city so well. And, and, to, and to do it in such, a, in such a proper way because a lot of times it, when you're in a city, there will be a public park or whatever, and they'll they'll allocate a certain amount of space for a skate park. They'll contract different design companies to design a skate park that's very much unique in some ways, but really it's cookie cutter. It's now you might be wondering why I didn't play with the ambience levels in that particular clip, and that's because ambience controls the room sound, the reverb, the echo, whatever you want to call it. That roomy noise can be reduced, and let me show you how. In our podcast about the different and lower cost perspective that exists in China, I mentioned that China's lower cost perspective in combination with... Even more impressive than that is this next feature, and you're really going to want to see what this is. You'll find it in so many different audio editors, but not Adobe Premiere Pro or Adobe Audition yet. It's in Audacity using the add-on AI plugins that I talk about in another video, by the way, that you should definitely check out. DaVinci Resolve Studio 19 has added the Music Remixer that, yes, it really does allow you to separate stems from a music music track. Mute the guitar. Get rid of the drums. Get rid of the bass. And the horns. That's the other. And now we're left just with the voice. Bring back the drums. Mute the voice. So as you can see, you can literally mute out any element, any stem of a music track. And what's more, you can actually untick all of these, go back to the beginning and rebalance the track completely using voice, drums, bass, other and guitar as your working features. It really is a very cool feature. And I do not know why it's not in the Adobe Premiere Pro and Audition Suite right now. I'd really like to see it soon. There you go. That's a very brief look at the brand new audio features inside DaVinci Resolve Studio 19. That I really think should be in Adobe products as well. Thanks to Mr. Alex Tech for providing such a comprehensive review of all the new features in DaVinci Resolve 19. I suggest you definitely go and watch his video now. And in full fairness, here are two features that DaVinci Resolve just added that Adobe products have had for ages now. Like, for instance, transcription speaker names. And it's also great to see audio ducking available too. And I'm really curious, let me know in the chat down below what features are both editors missing, DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere Pro, that they could really do with, whether it's a, a missing audio feature or a color feature or something to do with video editing that makes your life easier. Let me know in the comments down below.